So you finally saved up enough for a down payment and you're going to give an offer on the house of your dreams. You've looked at a lot of houses and finally found the house that best suits you and your family. Now you're ready to put down your offer and hope it gets accepted right away. We wish getting an offer accepted was that easy and smooth. In recent years, the housing market has become the seller's market, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak it has become much crazier with bidding wars. In this video, I will share what the seller market is exactly with six tips to help you win a home bidding war. Thank you for visiting our Beast Senior Fire Journey channel today. We'd love for you to join us in our journey and please subscribe to our channel. Please hit that like button and leave a comment below. So what is the seller market? When compared to the buyer's market, the seller's market is when there are more buyers than houses available for sale. The process to finding our second real estate property took a while and we actually got outbid. Utah has been a seller market for a long time now. I'm not surprised if this is the case in many other states and regions as well. Even though we were outbid during the bidding war, we didn't give up. It was difficult for sure, but we quickly adjusted ourselves. We became even more ready and found a property that was a cozy three bedroom, two bath condo built in 2002. Our offer was accepted. So what can you do to get the perfect real estate property you have been looking for? Here are the six tips we learned from our outbid experience. Utilizing these tips may push your offer to the forefront and give you a better chance of having your offer accepted. Tip number one, frequently check for new houses on the market. Remember, it's very important to always be checking for when new homes come onto the market. If you find one that you like, you should make an appointment to inspect the house immediately. Being located in Utah, we have mostly used utahrealestate.com. Here's a story to illustrate why you should check for new homes. One time we found a property, it was a condo, we really liked and we wanted to check it out. We booked an appointment with the seller's agent and couldn't wait to see it. But just like that, the seller's agent canceled our appointment and told us the seller had already accepted an offer. They had already gone under contract. So that was it, no more showings. Unfortunately, we didn't have a chance to give an offer, but we learned some important lessons. Having a good buyer agent to help you is very important. I still remember my wife found our second real estate property right after it came out onto the market, even before a real estate agent saw it. The condo was empty inside with the homeowner completely moved out so potential buyers could go in and check at any time. The time was around 8 p.m. at night when my wife saw the listing and our agent was still very willing to take us to check it out. This time around, we were the first ones to check out the condo and we were the first ones to give an offer. The next day, our offer was accepted and we were already under contract. Yes! Let's discuss more helpful tips. Tip number two, ask how many people have checked the property and if there have been any offers. Sellers and their listing agents are generally not allowed to tell about other people's offers, especially in detail. But the seller's agent generally wants to spread the word that a house is in high demand in order to get the best deal in the bidding war. It's totally okay to let your real estate agent ask how many people have checked the property already and how many are going to check in the near future. You can also have your real estate agent check how many people have shown interest in buying the property and ask the seller if they received any offers yet. Asking these types of questions can help you know the demand and then make a better decision when you make an offer. This is exactly what we did. You need to have an experienced buyer agent and keep in close contact with the seller's listing agent. Tip number three, give your best and final offer ASAP. Giving your best and final offer means you can leave without any regrets if the offer falls through, but don't offer something that you can't afford. If the final price of the home is higher than you can afford, it is not the perfect place after all. Speaking with a lender can help you know exactly how much you can afford, but you'll want to have extra cash flow at the end of the month for investments and savings. We love this quote by Dave Ramsey, just because you can make the monthly payment doesn't mean you can afford it. If you have a real estate agent, he or she should have all the resources you need to help you check the most recent final selling prices and listing prices of homes in the same community. Pay extra close attention to the highest selling ones. But why? You'll be able to compare the real estate property that you like to other homes that have been sold and are in a similar condition. The highest sold price condo we saw in the same location was in better condition. It was a top floor unit and had a vaulted ceiling, but our condo was on the middle floor. The top floor usually holds more value than the middle floor or the bottom floor. We really liked the middle floor condo we found regardless and did not want to get outbid again. After calculating our budget, we decided to add one grand more than the highest sold condo price that we found. 
We did this because we really liked the property and the most recently sold condo in the area was sold at a higher price and also in a better condition. We gave our best and final price and the offer was accepted. Oh, and don't forget to give your loan pre-approval letter with your offer together. Your lender can help you get a pre-approval letter showing that you can afford the loan amount. Tip number four, don't ask too many questions before the offer is accepted. There are a lot of questions that you might have when buying a house that you'll want to ask the seller. You want to know the condition of the house, if there's anything that needs to replace, and so on. I totally understand that, and you for sure have the right to ask and know. We found that it is really best to wait until your offer is accepted before you start asking too many questions. Don't let the seller and their listing agents think that you are just asking questions and being picky. This may make them more unwilling to accept your offer because they may think that you may be more difficult to deal with and don't like the property as is. We always start asking detailed questions once the offer is accepted, especially since you typically have a professional inspector to help you inspect the condition of the home later on. Tip number five, put down a backup offer. If the seller doesn't choose your offer, ask if you can put down a backup offer. You never know, some contracts don't always go through. A lot of homes fail to sell at the very end because of the buyer situation where they did not obtain the house loan successfully. Put down your backup offer ASAP and try to be first in line just in case a deal falls through. This happened when my parents sold their house. The family who was going to purchase their property failed to get the house loan due to some financial problems. Then my parents quickly decided to accept a backup offer, which worked out great for them. Tip number six, have faith in more dream homes to come. Don't give up if you've been outbid. As mentioned in the beginning, our search to find our second real estate property took longer than expected and we actually got outbid. We were so disheartened when we got outbid, but we quickly adjusted and learned our lesson from our outbidding experiences. We believe there will always have good properties coming out on the market. And this happened when we eventually found our cozy condo built in 2002. The previous owner had done some remodeling which made the property very attractive to a young couple like us. The location was also very close to our colleges, real estate property, and the company it worked for at the time. In recent years, it has become a seller's market, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, where the bidding war has become much more terrifying. A lot of properties we knew of received over 10 offers in just one day after it went onto the market. One of our friends got outbid six times until his offer was finally accepted. We really hope these experiences and tips can help you win in these crazy bidding wars. Wishing you the best of luck to find your dream home that fits perfectly for your family's needs. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe today and don't miss out on more fresh new content coming soon. Take care, <laughs> fire friends.